Hey everyone, this is James Sinclair. I am uh, not one of your regular gas hosts, but I was asked to fill in today and I'm honored to do it. And I will be solving the gas puzzle for September 2nd, uh, 2024, which is called Fog of Kropke by Bill Murphy, a very rare gas fog puzzle. Uh, the rules are simple. We've got normal Sudoku rules apply, put the digits one to nine in each row, column, and box. Uh, digits separated by a black dot are in a one to two relationship, so you know, these can be two, four, three, six, something like that. Um, digits separated by a white dot must be consecutive. I don't see any white dots, but you know they're in here somewhere. So you know this can be three and four, seven, eight, you know what consecutive means. And not all dots are given, so it is perfectly okay for, for example, for this cell to contain a two, even though that would normally, you know, that's consecutive and in a one to two relationship, but not all dots are given, so that's fine. Uh, and then of course the fog will clear as we place digits, no guessing is required. And I should note that I have not solved this puzzle before, I was not one of the testers, so I have no idea what's under the fog. So let's, uh, let's find out. All right, and I mean, the first thing that I see is we've got this sequence of three cells connected by black dots. Anytime that's the case where all three digits have to be different, uh, there's only two sequences at work. There's one, two, four, and two, four, eight. And the given one tells us that this has to be the two, four, eight sequence. Now, we've got another black dot here and the, there, there's sort of two types of digits that can appear on a black dot. There's one, two, four, eight, and then there's three and six. So those are the only ones left for this cell. And this can't be a three because we would need a two or a four next to it. Six is consecutive with five and seven. Three is consecutive with two and four, and that can't be four. Is this eight, this is two, and now two can't be next to four on this black dot, so this has to be one. We've got a given seven here that is consecutive with this digit, which can't be six. And that also resolves these uh, five, seven pairs. This five can't be next to four, so we've got a six here. Six can't be next to five, so we've got seven given nine with a white dot, so this has to be eight. And now we can't go back to seven, so this goes back up to nine. Another eight between the dots down here, and now we've got another sequence of two black dots. So uh, again, this can be one, two, four, or two, four, eight. There's already an eight in the box, so this has to be one, two, four, and the one in box four tells us the order. Uh, one in box two has to be there, and now the remaining digits in the box are consecutive. Uh, and we do know the order. We've got a four down here, so we've got four, three, and two. Uh, that finishes off box one. Let's see, we've got another consecutive sequence down here. I'm not sure that I can resolve that quite yet. I can pencil mark five and six in box five, which makes this cell a three. Ah, we've got nine at the top of this column, so the consecutive digit with eight has to be seven. I feel like I'm doing this in a very scattered way. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me, I don't do a whole lot of solving on camera. Um, now, where can we go next? There's, we, I, I haven't placed nine in this box yet, but I have placed eight, so nine can't be part of this sequence. So this cell has to contain the nine. We've got a black dot here that can't have any of one, two, four, and eight, so that's three and six. And the only digit left in the column is five. Uh, which, speaking of five, that's the one in the middle of this sequence with uh, four and six on each side. We've got one, two, and four to finish out column, column three. Uh, one and two are consecutive, so that puts four here. 
can't have an 8 on this dot, so this is 2. We've got a, what is this? This is 1 and a 9. And then we've got a 1, 2 pair here. I could corner mark 1s into these cells, but I don't know that that's going to do a whole lot at this point in the puzzle. Um, 4, 5, and 6 to finish out column 5. Can't put 4 or 5 in this cell, so this is 6 next to 5. And 3, 7, and 8 to finish out column 6. Not seeing anything I can do with that. I can see that the 5 in row 7 has to be in one of these two cells because 5 can never be on a, on a black dot. Yep. 3, 6, and 9 to finish out row 5. I guess that's worth pencil marking since I thought of it. Um, here we go. We got one, two, and four in row three. Um, again, four. It's not consecutive with either of those, so that puts four here. Uh, I've already got three in row four, so this needs to be five, which resolves six and five, six and four, one and seven to fill out row four, one and two up here. Uh, and hey, I should have corner marked the ones earlier because now. We've got the same thing going on in columns 7 and 8, so that allows us to place a 1 right there, which reveals nothing, um, but <laughs> still very nice. Let's see, we've got, we put 8 and 9 on this dot, and 3 there. Five, six, and 7 left in box 3, this can't be 5. Two, four, and eight left in row six. Uh, this cell uh, can't be eight because it would need to be next to four on the black dot, and it can't be two because two would be next to four or one. So this is four. I believe this can still be two or eight. We can place five. And we should be able to place five in box three, right there. Four in column eight. Has to be here, we've already got the four in row nine. Should be almost there. This, this cell can't contain eight because we can't put seven or nine in here. This is what I was missing. That's a black dot that I have been completely ignoring. Can't put nine on a black dot, so it has to be three and six, which is resolved by the three there. And that does this eight nine pair. Um, we've got a nine in one of these cells and a nine here, so nine and row nine goes there. Ah, this is nice. This is a 7, 8 pair here, so we can't put 7 and 8 on this dot because that'll leave no value for that cell. So this has to be 3 and 2, which resolves the stuff going on over here. 6, 3, uh, also resolves the pairs up here. And that does a 2 and 8. Place 9 in column 9, and 8 in column 9 has to be right here. 6, 7, probably could have done that a while ago. Um, and I think we are wrapping things up here. 7, 8, 7, 3, and 6. And yeah, that was a very nice puzzle. Um, Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let us know how you did in the comments. And uh, I believe we'll be back to the regular schedule tomorrow. 
And by the way, if you're all caught up on gas puzzles and you want more Sudoku, you can check out my puzzles at artisanalsudoku.com. Thank you.